So I'm uh, Ron McMahon with the Industrial and Environment Group of SGS. Uh, I'm based out of East Syracuse, New York. Uh, and we're here today uh, reviewing a project we did for Boston Public Schools uh, for indoor air quality. The uh, key to the project was really driven around COVID and the need for uh, measuring carbon dioxide. But Boston Public Schools elected to go further and add other indoor air quality parameters. And so we are using our SmartSense device. So we're monitoring carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, particles, relative humidity, and temperature. Uh, all those things are tied to our cloud platform that then uh, Boston Public Schools, uh, through their technical website as well as a public website, uh, anyone can view the data. Uh, the key was to try and concentrate and focus on where the main issues were so they can start applying uh, different technologies or different um, things to make it better, uh, make the air quality better in classrooms, almost on a real-time basis. Uh, the issue with Boston Public Schools is being the oldest school district in the United States, uh, most of their buildings are not mechanically ventilated, so it's really critical as the winter comes and they close these buildings up uh, to try and make sure that they keep the air uh, the best they can. It's really unique that we can provide lab data, we can provide real-time data, uh, and we can provide a platform that combines all those things together. So from a standpoint of being able to look at your data for asbestos, lead, water, and uh, obviously indoor air quality, real-time, uh, it's all on one simple platform. So the key to SGS, the Industry and Environment Group, is we, we only really are focused on the health of the building and the health of the people in the building. Sometimes that's in conflict with uh, power saving or you know other building management functions. But we know it's important that if they put in these devices that we could interconnect with their building management systems so they can utilize this data however they see fit. It's incredible that we got it done in the time frame we did, but it was amazing. And believe it or not, this is a, a device we developed to uh, improve tamper resistance. So one of the biggest things in these schools is you can have a great piece of equipment, but if somebody unplugs it, it becomes worthless. And so we, we designed our own tamper-proof plug that is installed in all the classrooms uh, to, to prevent someone from easily being able to unplug it. And we've entrained everything in this system so that you can't unplug the device either at the device or even at the wall socket. And that sounds really, really interesting, but that's the, that was the main thing. I mean, it's funny that this is what people are going, well, wow, that's incredible that nobody's unplugged them yet. And it's because of this design that we actually, well, we've had the, the results we've had. Before COVID, indoor air quality was something people talked about, but nobody took action. And so COVID has really brought around an awareness of, of indoor air quality and, and you know, our environment and where we live and, and what we're breathing and uh, the water we're drinking and all the things we consume. It's, it's getting to be a big thing through sustainability and, and we're in the middle of it. We're on it and we're not gonna stop innovating.